in this game one of the NBA Finals. This moment right now as you try to process it, how, how surreal is all of what you just did? Uh, I mean, uh, it's crazy. I mean, first time in this moment, um, just being out there on the floor, NBA Finals, uh, the, the, the highest stage. And, you know, for me, it's just going out there, um, no pressure and, and playing my game and what, using whatever the defense is giving me and, and just playing. Okay, but you just said no pressure. Like, this is the highest stakes the game provides against the, the reigning champs with your city absolutely out of its mind. So how are you able to take a, a situation that would seem to be the most pressure and totally eliminate it? What's the secret? Um, I think, I mean, for me, it's just um, I, I play for a bigger purpose. Um, just, you know, playing for my dad and, right. and you know, kind of going out there every single night and representing him and, and making sure that I do everything I'm supposed to do um, uh, just to make him proud. And, and, and for me, you know, that's, that's bigger than basketball. And when I go out there, you know, it's not about, sometimes it's not about X and O, it's just going out, going out there and playing, you know, for a bigger purpose. You, you got to forgive me as I smile. As a guy that lost his dad young, I understand. They say you live the rest of your life trying to make him proud. And obviously a night like this does with, you, with your performance. But you, not just you, but your entire team seemed to play suffocating defense. How much was that the first priority and what the goal was tonight was to start there? Um, I think, you know, this, this, we're playing against a great team. And to be able to, to, to win, we got to be able to stop them. You know, they have exceptional players. Um, they can shoot the three, they can, they can handle, they can, they can drive. And we just got to do, you know, a decent job to just contest them and, and make sure that we make it hard for them to score it. Um, and I think, you know, we did a pretty decent job tonight. I'd say so. I mean, not just a decent job, but you, you guys were fantastic. And the building, that we were marked about it on the, on the broadcast they were talking about it. People that have been around the finals for many, many years said they've never seen or felt anything like this. How would you describe this? Man, it's amazing. Uh, best fans in the NBA, you know, by far. And, and they, they always show that every single night. And I think it's just, you know, the city has been through, through so much. And, and being at this stage, um, just the, the, the whole country, Canada, um, you know, Toronto, obviously. Um, everyone's just excited, man. It's an exciting time of the year. And I think the fans deserve this moment. Um, and, and I think they, they're kind of like enjoying it and, and just giving us everything they got. And, and we, need, we need every bit of it. When this is new to you all and it's new to you, how do you fight human nature, which would be to allow yourself to enjoy this moment, which you, you ought to be able to do, but understanding that you can't enjoy it too much. Where's the line for that? Um, we're playing against champions, man. Um, <laughs> right. We can't relax. We, we, we won one game at home, and, and you know, that's kind of what we're supposed to do at home. And you know, we're just trying to go out there, get game two. Um, we know they're going to come out. They're going to make adjustments. You know, that, that's where the champions are going to come out, and, and they're going to have energy, and they're going to play you know, maybe better. So for us, it's just staying prepared and, and knowing that you know, we won one game, and that's it. Well, it was a remarkable debut from you in particular. We, we spoke earlier this year in Brooklyn and we talked about the ascent. Man, you're, you're up there in really, really special territory right now. So continue to enjoy and thanks so much for, for making our show part of your night, all right? Yeah, thank you so much for having me, man. Appreciate it.